Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and today I'm going to be doing something that I usually don't do. Today I'm going to be te teaching you how to do a back walkover. So, um, I've been watching some, like, YouTube videos on how to do it before I learned how to do this skill, and it was pretty hard, and so they weren't really self-explanatory. So I decided that I was going to do a video right now on how to do it. Also, we have shoutouts at the end of today's video. Let's go. Alright, so, <laughs> I can't edit, so. Um, uh, okay, so the first skill that you should already have is just a regular back bend. And that is, wait, let me go put this. That is pretty easy. You don't have to go back like that. You can just lay down and do it. And just, uh, when you're doing it, when you're going and about to kick over don't use your back muscle or that will um cause like damage to your back and it won't it will hurt so further ado let's go ahead and get into this so the skill that you mostly want to have you don't have to have is a back bend kick over if you do not have that that is a-okay i'll be showing you how to do that at the end of this video so this is just for people that don't know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a back walk over, a back and kick over. And if you want, you can go back like this, like this, or just put one hand on the ground and then go back. And then push forward with your, with your stomach, not your back, and kick over. So that is not a back um, back walkover, it's just a back bend kickover. So, anyway, um, you should already have some athletic gear on, like, not gear, but, like, clothes on. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have to match because, I mean, you're just doing it. So, anyway, um, so the first skill that you're gonna, um, hopefully have is a back bend, which I've already shown you in a back bend kick over so yeah <laughs> so um now let's get into the actual process of it um make sure you stretch your back before you do this because it could you could be sore in the morning you could have sore abs and stuff so mostly your stomach um so yesterday i woke up and my back was really not my back my stomach was really sore from where i was doing it and so, you want to let your stomach loose. Not like a back handspring, I know it's really complicated. You want your stomach to be loose. So, anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. So, what you're going to do is, um, you're going to try and go back like this. And, um, uh, just try and go back. Simply. And then, if you already have a back of a kickover, <laughs> sorry about the weird noises. I did not stretch, guys. One minute. Seriously. So, you should already have that done. If it hurts your wrist, try going down. Not when you reach, no, like when you're going back, go ahead and try. Um, not going down fast, but slow. Um, or you could break your wrist or sprain something like that. So, anyway, you should... Okay, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what a back walkover looks like. So, a back walkover, you can start with your feet apart like this. Or just start like this. I start like this because it helps. It's lower to the ground. And it's not right here because if you were to do it right here you would have trouble going back but if you're like this you're lower to the ground and that makes it easier for beginners and stuff so what you're going to do is have your hands like this bring your back down like that to where you almost hit your head put this leg up push this leg the other leg that's not up push that one over when you 
have when you're in that position, or you can kick in with the leg that you have already up. So, let me show you. And it doesn't have to be fast, it can be slow, it can be any kind of thing. So, I am going to demonstrate it. The more farther away your legs are apart, the more easier it's going to be. So, um, now, that's what you don't want to do. That's a back bend kick over. A back walk over is... And it doesn't matter how you go, you can wait a while before you do it. Um, just, here are some steps to do it, basically. So you want to have good back strength, where you can go down like that and come up. Not using your back, but your side, your hips. Um, make sure your stomach's ready to release, or it will, you'll be hurt. Um, some good stretches I experienced while doing this is leaning forward and backwards. I know it's kind of weird, but like, it does help. So lean forwards, um, diagonally to the ground, parallel, and then lean backwards, also di diagonally. Um, so for beginners, you can go back, like how I showed you like that, and then kick over, and bam, you have a back bend kick over. Or you can go on the ground, lift up, and then kick over. So, um, whichever way works for you is a good way. So, if you can, or if you want to try it, I would recommend trying this before you do it or practice it on the bed. Go back. Just like this, um, have your foot up, kick over with your leg on the ground. Basically, um, when you're doing it, if you want to, um, practice your splits, <laughs> practice, practice your splits, and um, your middle splits, sorry my eyes are itching, um, and so you can do a, wait, a handstand, split, so, those are all my tips and tricks on how to do it, uh, learn the back hand, the, sorry, the back walk over, um, Make sure you have a spotter if it's a, if this is your first time doing it, and if you don't, at least have a mat under you or pillows or something like that, like a blanket, and um, and that's basically it. Also, also, shout out, shout out goes to um, let me think, uh, I have no idea. You know what? If you're watching this video, um, and you want a shout out, subscribe and like. And I'll give you a shout out. If we get this video to five, five likes, only five. Good. You know our goal is thirty. So let's try and get to our goal. I'm breathing really hard. Let's try and get to our goal, and let's see if we can we can reach it. Anyways. Goodbye. Go rescue a animal. Peace.